Hello and welcome back to my job tutorial series to teach you how to program your own physics simulator. Now as we already have programmed it, you can see I'm not opening up in Eclipse today, I'm actually on my desktop. Because, um, well, the physics simulator obviously isn't finished, but I wouldn't be much of a teacher if I did all the work for you. So I will be putting the source code on my GitHub and um, such, and of course, it, and yeah, it's not finished, and it does have a couple bugs, which I wonder if you can find, but today I'm going to teach you how to package all of your um, well-worked-on source code into an actual executable jar file. So first we have to execute, we have to find where you stored all your um, source for this. I stored mine in my programming folder, inside Java, inside tutorials, inside physics, simulator, inside Eclipse, down here, and you, when you get there, you want to go into your bin file. And you want to get the top folder because um, this is, you know, all your package structure and heals are all of your classes. Now, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to create a new folder. It's going to be all caps and we're going to call it meta-inf. Just like that. And then after that, you're going to open your, your uh, favorite text editor. And mine happens to be text edit. And you're going to uh, start a, you're, you're going to start to edit your own thing. Now, uh, what you're going to type in here is uh, the first thing it's going to be manifest dash, ver dash version you're going to put 1.0 that's the version we use and then you're going to put main dot class colon now here's where you put the actual package um, the location of your main class now mine is as you can see Baraliborn dot physics dot main now, if you look at this package structure, you see it's Baraliborn, Physics, and Main is our main class. You don't have to put main.class, you just have to put main. And the, one of the most important things you have to do is then you have to press enter. Now, with these um, files, or, uh, they're going to be called manifest.mf, you have to have a line feed at the end. You have to have an empty line right here. So don't type anything, don't do any spaces, just make sure after the last line you press enter. Now, of course, we're going to save here. And, like I said, we're going to call it manifest.mf. And now uh, let's see if it's down there. Yep, we're going to... Well, I'll just uh, navigate, navigate to it for you so you can get the whole idea again. We go back all the way to where our source code is. Music Simulator, Eclipse, bin. We go inside metainf and we save it right in here. Of course, use the .mf. So now we've done that. That works perfectly. Now inside our metainf, we have manifest.mf. Perfectly fine. Now what we do here, we'll select both of these files and using your favorite compression tool, whether it be um, WinRAR or 7-Zip, or if you have a Mac, it's built in via archive utility. We're going to compress these two into a zip file. And what we're going to do, we're going to name it whatever we want to call it. I'll call mine Visix Sim. And you just change the ending to a dot .jar. And yep, there's a dot .jar. Now all we have to do is double click on this. And here's our Visix Simulator. And of course it still works and everything. Let's just add the force of gravity. Of course it's going to point at 270 degrees let's just say it has a force of 100 newtons look there's our resultant vector and all that shit and it works completely fine yeah I mean we can put it anywhere we can put it on a desktop double click it still works perfectly fine you can you know send this right over to your friends via Mediafire or Skype or whatever the hell you want to do but you know I don't need it <laughs> I have it. It's not like I'm going to be distributing it at all. Again, it's not 100% finished. I'll have the source code up on my GitHub account here soon. And I'll also have the finish. Well, it's not finished at all. Yeah, I'm just going to have the source code up so you can look at it. I'm not going to post the jar at all since you already know how to uh, do all that stuff. But yeah, there you go. This is probably going to be the last episode of the Physics Simulator series. Of course, there's all the other series I have going on right now. But again, I hope you like watching this. And I'll see you next time.